Hallelujah. 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 Come on, let's put our hands together for God this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for our Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, we give you honor and glory this morning, God. Hallelujah. Because you are a great God. Hallelujah. You are an awesome Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We just bless your name this morning, God. We honor you, God. Hallelujah. We come before your presence and sing Hallelujah. We're entering into your gates of thanksgiving, God, into your courts of praise, God. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, say something to your God this morning. Give him the fruit of your lips. Hallelujah. Tell him how much you love him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, we honor you this morning, God. Hallelujah. You're wonderful, God. You are kind. Hallelujah. You are awesome. Hallelujah. You are mighty. Hallelujah. You are righteous, God.
surrounds me, my heart will not be afraid. Even if I am attacked, I will remain confident. The one thing I ask of the Lord, the thing I seek most, is to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, delighting in the Lord's perfections and meditating in His temple. I've read you Psalms 27, 1-4. through 4. May the Lord have a blessing and the reader and the hearer of the doer of His word. Hallelujah. May we go to our God in prayer. Dear most gracious and eternal Father, Lord, we just come to simply tell you thank you, God. Thank you, God, for being God and being God all alone. Thank you, God, for being the God who provides God, the God who makes the way the God who heals, the God who delivers, and the God who has set us free. Thank you, God, for being so mindful of us, Lord. Touching us, God, with your finger of love, God. Wake us, waking us up this morning, God. Giving us usage, God, of all of our limbs, God. Hallelujah. Clothing us in our right mind, God. And for that, God, we just tell you, thank you, God. Thank you, God, for keeping us safe, God, last night as we slept in slumber, God. Thank you, God, for keeping the robbers away, God. Thank you, God, for keeping the murderers away, God. Thank you, God, that we make the wake up of this, God. And for that, God, we give your name praise. God, thank you for wiping away our tears, God, in the midnight hour, God. Thank you, God, for giving us a restful and peaceful sleep, God. We thank you, God, hallelujah, for everything that you've done, God. And for that, God, we tell you thank you, God. God, we want to thank you, God, for always providing, God. Always making a way, God, when there seems to be no way, God. Thank you, oh God, hallelujah, for being who you are to us. Thank you, God, for being sovereign and mighty, God. Thank you, God, for being wonderful and holy, God. And for that, God, we give your name praise, God. Thank you, God, for sending your son, Jesus, God, who hung and died on the cross, God, just to save our sins, God. Thank you, God, for the ultimate act of love, God. Hallelujah. Thank you for the blood that has redeemed us, God. Hallelujah. The blood that has restored us, God. The blood that has cleansed us, God. The blood that protects and purifies us, God. Hallelujah. The blood, God, that washes us white as snow, God. The blood that makes us whole, God. Hallelujah. The blood that completes us, God. Hallelujah. The blood, God, is a symbol of your love for us, God, that you'll never leave us, Lord, and never forsake us, God. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah, for loving us, God, when we sing our lovable God. Thank you, God, for keeping us, God, when sometimes we act like we don't want to be kept, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for loving us, God, past our mistakes, God, past our circumstances, God, past our situations, God. Thank you for loving us, God, with an everlasting love. Thank you for loving us, God. Hallelujah. Like only you can love us, God. Hallelujah. We bless your name this morning, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. For watching over us, God. Thank you, God, for protecting us, God, from danger seen, God, and unseen, God. Thank you, God, for never letting our hand go to God. Thank you, God, for picking us up, God, when we fall, God. Hallelujah. Thank you for answering our call, God, when we call on you, God. Thank you, God, for always being available, God. Hallelujah. For never leaving us alone, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for your direction, God. Hallelujah. Your God is God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for leading us, God, into all truth, God. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. We thank you for every member here this morning, God. Meet the needs of your people, God. We know, you only know, God, what they've been asking God and praying for, God. And we know, God, that you will do it. Hallelujah. And if you can't do it, God, it just can't be done, God. But we thank you, God, hallelujah, for just hearing God, hearing our prayers, God, listening to us, God, hallelujah. Thank you, God, for this place we call Riverview Community Church, God. Thank you, God, for this holy ground, God. Thank you, God, for this holy sanctuary, God. Bless us, God, like only you can, God. Expand us, God, like only you can, God. Send us, God, willing workers, God, willing laborers, God, for your kingdom, God. We come to build your kingdom, God. Hallelujah. This is your church, God. Hallelujah. We come to do what you need us to do, God. Hallelujah. We lift you up, Jesus, for all men to see, God. Hallelujah. We lift you up, God, so you can draw all men unto you, God. We bless your name this morning, God. Hallelujah. We honor you today in this place, God. We give your name glory. Hallelujah. We worship you, God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, God. Hallelujah. For sitting high and looking low, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. For all that you've done, God. Thank you, God, for the things that you're going to do, God. Hallelujah. Let us increase in our faith, God. Hallelujah. Teach us to walk boldly, God, in your name, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Teach us, God, to be a great example, oh God, for your kingdom, God. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. We thank you for our pastor this morning, God. We thank you for his obedience, God. Hallelujah. His humbleness, God. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, for him always laboring, God, in love, oh God, for your name, God. We ask you to touch him this morning, God. Hallelujah. We find anything, God, and anyone, God, that comes to God, separate him from you, God, and your love for him, God. We thank you, God, hallelujah, for his life, God, and we ask you, God, just add more life to him, God. Give him more preaching power, God. Give him more praying power, God. Let your spirit fall on him, God. Let your anointing fall on him, God. Hallelujah. When it gets too high, God, bring him down a little more, God. When it gets too low, Lord, lift them up, God. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. Lord, we bless your name, God. Have your way in the service today, God. Do what only you can do, God. Move by your spirit, God, and move by your power, God. Have your way in this place, God. Move us, God, if we need to be moved, God. Shake us, God, if we need to be shaken, God. Break us down, God, if we need to be broken, God. Hallelujah. We come to glorify your name this morning, God. It's not about us, God. It's all about you. Hallelujah. We come to reverence you, God. Hallelujah. We come to give your name honor and praise this morning. Hallelujah. God, we thank you, God, for the opportunity, God, to worship your name. Thank you, God, that we're no longer bound. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, that we are free, God, to call on your name, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, that we're free to call on the name of Jesus, God. Hallelujah. When we call on your name, God, atmospheres change, God. Hallelujah. When we call on your name, chains break. Hallelujah. When we call on your name, God, bodies are healed. Hallelujah. When we call on your name, God, things are provided. Hallelujah. When we call on your name, Jesus, the blessings just flow on down. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Lord, we love you today. And we bless your name. These and all of the things, God, we ask in our darling son, Jesus' name, we pray and we thank God. Amen. Amen.
night, 7 p.m. is our Bible study. Amen. We had a good time last Wednesday night. Amen. 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 This some of y'all, but again, those who are on, we had a good time. Amen. Amen. So don't forget again, we'll be back this Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Um, and then Saturday morning, Saturday morning, this Saturday morning, listen, if you are a member of this church, I need you this Saturday. Y'all looking at me strange, but this Saturday, May 14th at 10 a.m., I need those who are leaders in this church, those who are members in this church to be present as we plan going forward. Amen. I need you here. So 10 a.m. this Saturday morning. And then next Sunday is third Sunday is our communion Sunday. So please be here. Please be here. We commune together. We celebrate and remember again what our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has done for us through the blood. Amen. Through the shedding of his blood and giving of his life. Amen. So be here. Just a reminder again, our communion is at the beginning of service, not at the end of service. So be on time. Amen. 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 We're praying again for Sister Joyce Cole, Coleman and her family, Commissioner Joyce Coleman and Commissioner Stephanie Love, who again is recovering, is doing much better. Um, continue to pray for Brother A.J. Pryor and that family. Continue to pray for Sister Nadia. Pray for my sister-in-law's Helen and Vera and for the baby. Amen. We're so glad again that uh, Sister Melissa Garrett is here today. Amen. Amen. We've been praying for you. And we're grateful again that you are here. Amen. We're grateful that uh, the women were able to fellowship yesterday and last night. They went out. And I ain't going to go. I ain't going to tell all y'all business. But y'all went out. Amen. He went out. Amen. Yeah, they went out. See me after church as he did go out too. The rest of the story. Amen. 
Well, listen, I want to thank y'all for making me feel special once again. My birthday was incredible. I want to thank y'all. Last Sunday, I appreciate y'all loving on me. And Terry, you had to put me dancing on, on social media to my birthday song, but that's all right. Amen. Amen. So I did it. So I did it. All right. But again, I thank y'all. All of the cards, all of the texts, all of the gifts that y'all blessed me with. I just want you to know I appreciate it all. And I, I don't do it for it. I don't serve you for that reason. But again, it's good when folks love on you and tell you that they love you. So I thank y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sister Bobby, I know she's back. She's out in the lobby welcoming people, but it's her birthday coming up on the 10th. Amen. 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 That's right. Stick your head in. Amen. Amen. Here we go. Come on, come on, Sister Bobby. Got something for you. Amen. Amen. Just want you to know I love you. We love you. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. What y'all don't know is that she's around here and first lady around here cleaning and yeah. Amen. Diane around here cleaning and dusting and vacuuming and keeping the place looking beautiful. Again, it does not go unnoticed. We thank you again for what you do. Amen. At this time, I'm going to encourage you again, if you would, uh, to give. As God has blessed you. We are a church that believes in tithing. Tithing is God's way of caring for his church. Um, we're not promising any magic. All we promise you is what he's saying in his word, that he'll pull you out blessings from the windows of heaven if you, again, trust him with 10%, just a tenth of that which he has blessed you with. Yes, he is anyway. He says, if you give it back to me, I'll give you more than you have room enough to receive. God is faithful to his word. He also teaches us in Exodus again that we should never come before him empty handed. Amen. So we want to encourage you again to give. If you are using Cash App, you can use dollar sign RCC The View. Dollar sign RCC The View. Or if you're making your checks, pay, uh, writing the check, make it payable to Riverview Community Church. You can use our PayPal as well, which is on our website. Go to the Give link. Click on the PayPal, use the QR code, and you will get all of those. Again, we're grateful for what you give each week and how you allow us to be a blessing to others. God, again, continues to use us to minister to those who are in need. And so we support Riverview Community School community school yet. I shouldn't call it that yet. Uh, Riverview K-8 school. Amen. Amen. Um, and we support, again, others in this community. So what you give goes beyond these walls. And we thank you again for your faithfulness. Amen. Amen. If you would, get your gift in your hand and lift it up. God, our Father, we thank you again for that which you have given. God, we thank you for those who are given in the offering, God. They're giving their tithes back to you, God. Those who are giving, again, over and beyond their tithes, God. We ask you right now to bless it, God. Let it accomplish that which you're sending forth to do, God. God, we know again that you are a man who does not lie. God, your word is true. You said in your word that you would pour us out blessings from the windows of heaven that we would not have room enough to receive, God, if we just trust you. We thank you, God, for your faithfulness. Now bless, God, we pray. Bless those also, God, who are sick, those who are bereaved, those who are brokenhearted, those who are going through whatever their needs are, God. I pray right now you meet them accordingly, God. Do for them what nobody else can do, God. God bless us now as we prepare to go into this word. God bless us that we may again preach your word with power. In Jesus' name we pray. Church, amen. 
Amen. If you would stand on your feet, starting in the rear, Brother Joe, if you come this way. your people have given God back to you. Bless it now, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 As Mr. Brown prepares to come back, I'm turning your Bibles to 1 Samuel chapter 1. 1 Samuel chapter 1. Before she comes, let me, let me uh, we'll do it after she sings. Amen. Samuel chapter 1. Oh, hey. 
after a sacrificial meal at Shiloh Hannah got up and went to pray Eli the priest was sitting at his customary place beside the entrance of the tabernacle and Hannah was in a deep anguish crying bitterly as she prayed to the Lord and she made this vow O Lord of heaven armies if you will look upon my sorrow and answer my prayer and give me a son then I will give him back to you and he will be yours for his entire lifetime and as a sign that he has been dedicated to the Lord his hair will never be cut yeah. Yeah. as she was praying to the Lord Eli watched her seeing her lips moving but hearing no sound he thought she had been drinking must you come here drunk he demanded throw away your wine Oh, no, sir, she replied. I haven't been drinking wine or anything stronger, but I'm very discouraged, and I was pouring out my heart to the Lord. Don't think I am a wicked woman, for I have been praying out of great anguish and sorrow. In that case, Eli said, go in peace. May the God of Israel grant the request you have asked of him. Oh, thank you, sir, she exclaimed. Then she went back and began to eat again, and she was no longer sad. The entire family got up early the next morning and went to worship the Lord once more. Then they returned home to Ramah. When Elk and I slept with Hannah, the Lord remembered her plea, and in due time, she gave birth to a son, and she named him Samuel. For she said, I asked the Lord for him. Word of God for the people of God. Look at your neighbor. Help me preach just for a few moments and say, won't he do it? Won't he do it? You may be seated. Today we, we celebrate mothers. My message today is centered around one of my favorite mothers in the Bible. Her name is Hannah. The book of 1 Samuel begins with the story of Hannah. Hannah's name in Hebrew means grace. Somebody say grace. grace. She is one of two wives of Elkanah. Elkanah is a wealthy man. He is a provider for his family. Elkanah is a man of faith. And Elkanah is in love with Hannah. Hannah appears to have it going on, but like all of us, she has an issue. She has a problem. Somebody say she has a problem. Yeah, she has an issue. She has a, a struggle. She has a want. She has a need. She is incomplete. Yeah. Hannah is in need of God's divine intervention. Nobody can do it for her but him. Yeah. Hannah is barren and she cannot give birth. The Hebrew word for barren used in this text means to be uh, in a dry place, yes, yes, yes. to be sterile, to be unable to produce. Yes. In Israel and, um, and among people of the Orient, barrenness was a woman's and a family's greatest misfortune. Yes. The highest sanctions of religion and patriotism bless the fruitfulness of a woman because children were necessary for the perpetuation and continuation of the tribe and its religion. Yeah, yeah. I believe that our text also speaks uh, from a spiritual perspective. Within the body of Christ, we find many that are barren. Yes. in spirit yes. and unable to produce. Yes. There are many whose faith is in a dry place. Yes. And in our text today, we find Hannah yes. 
She is in the temple crying out to God. She is wounded in her spirit. She is tired of the pain and the hurt that her barrenness continues to cause. Yeah. Oh, there's some folks in here today who, who if you would uh, be truthful, would admit that you're tired. Yeah. Yeah. You're tired of the pain. You, you, you're tired of the shame. You're tired of things being out of whack in your life. Yeah. Hannah's husband. Elkanah, he doesn't understand her pain. He thinks that his money and wealth should make her happy. If you read uh, verses 1 through 8, uh, you, you'll see what's going on in her life. Uh, she's got, uh, he has his baby's mama drama going on in the house. Penina and her children, his other wife, are getting on Hammer's nerves. And Hannah is about to do a DMX, Roz. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. Up in here, up in here. Hannah enters the temple and immediately she begins weeping and crying out to God. She enters the temple. She doesn't run to her girlfriend. She doesn't go out on social media and tell everybody about her problem. She comes to the place where God's presence resides. And can I tell you today, that's what you all will do. You all will come to the place where God's presence resides. Whatever you got issues going on, come to the place. And that's my first point this morning. She enters into God's presence. If you want God to do something for you, get into his presence. Get into his presence. David says in Psalm 16, 11, be in his presence is fullness of joy. And at his right hand are pleasures forevermore. In other words, whatever you need, our God, he has. He's able to supply and to perform whatever it is that you need. Oh, I dare you to come in his presence. I, I, I dare you to come into his presence. Tell your neighbor, come in, into his presence. Yeah, stop allowing situations and circumstances uh, in your life to keep you from God. You do know that's called sin. I'll say that one more time. You do know that when we allow situations and circumstances in our lives to come between us and God, it's called sin. Anything, anyone that separates you from God is sin. Oh, y'all don't believe it? Isaiah 59 and 12. Look at what it says. Isaiah 59 and 12 says, For our sins are piled up before God and testify against us. Yes, we know what sinners we are. We know we have rebelled and have denied the Lord. We have turned our backs on our God. We know how unfair and oppressive we have been. And it's because, again, we've allowed it to come before our God. But listen to what verse 1 and 2 says. He says, listen, the Lord's arm is not too weak to save you. Nor is his ear too deaf to hear you call. It's your sins that have cut you off from God. Because of your sins, he has turned away and will not listen anymore. It's not that God again has moved. It's not that God again has decided to, to, to go somewhere else. No, you have decided. To allow something to come between you and God. Yeah. Oh, in Bible study on Wednesday night, we said in 2 Chronicles 15, in verse 2b of 2 Chronicles 15, it says, God told Azariah the prophet, the Lord is with you. Yeah. And while you are with him, and if you seek, I'm sorry, the Lord is with you while you are with him. Yeah. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. The Lord is with you yeah. while you are with him. And if you seek him, he will be found of you. Yeah. But if you forsake him, he will forsake you. Yeah. God will be with you yeah. if you let him. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know about you, but I, I don't want to be anywhere that God isn't. I need him in these streets. Yeah. I, I need him on my job. Yeah. I need him in my house. Yeah. I need him in the church. I don't want to be anywhere Amen. where 
where his presence is. Amen. Our text says that Hannah enters the temple. Yeah. And she gets into his presence. Yeah. She begins crying and weeping yeah. uncontrollably. Yeah. Not only does she, but well, let, let me just put a pin there. She doesn't care about who she's offending. Oh my God. Yeah. She doesn't care about what she's doing. She knows what the protocol is. She's been going to the temple before, but she didn't care. This time, she needed God to hear what she had to say. She was tired of being tired. She wanted God to hear again. Let me tell you, when you get sick and tired of being sick and tired, you'll come up in here and you'll tell You'll start running around. You'll start hollering and screaming. And that's why you can't judge folks. You don't know what folks are going through. You don't know what's happening at the house. And so however you want to worship it, worship it. You've got to get to him. You've got to get in his presence. Not your sister, not your brother. you got to get into his presence for yourself. Yeah, not only does Hannah enter into his presence, she begins praying yeah. to God. Yeah. That's the second point. Hannah prayed. Yeah. yeah, if you want God to do something for you, you got to pray right. to him. Yeah. You got to have a little talk with him. Yeah. You got to tell him what you want. Right. The text says that Hannah is bitter. She's upset. She is mad with God. Yeah. Have you ever been mad with God? Uh -huh. I've been there, Hannah. Uh -huh. I've been mad with God. Yeah. I've asked God, why did you do this? Why didn't you do it this way? Why, why you let me suffer when others who don't even love you, who don't even care about you, seem like they're getting away with everything. They do whatever they want. Look like it's blessed. They ride around new cars, living in big houses. They don't even come to church on Sunday. What have I done that's so wrong that you won't bless me? God, you're blessing people who are wicked, yeah. do evil things, and here I'm trying to live right, trying to do right, but I can't seem to catch a break. Yeah. Yeah. I told y'all this before. Yeah. I was angry with God. Yeah. I was angry. I, I, I just uh, got back to Memphis and was working and uh, was in, 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 in politics and some folks, again, who I knew wasn't doing right, <laughs> were being blessed. Yeah. Looked like they were being blessed yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were being elevated. They were getting things and yeah. positions and stuff that was going on. I was like, here I am. Yeah. I'm, your, I'm your son. Yeah. I've been faithful. Yeah. Yeah. But those same folks ended up falling. Oh, quicker than, than, than the sun goes down in the evening. And so I I turned around and said, God, thank you. Thank you. thank you that you didn't bless me with that. Thank you. That I, I'm sorry. But in the midst of that, God gave me this, this text, Psalm 73. So when you ever get beside yourself and you decide you're mad with God, go to Psalm 73. Asaph says, my feet almost slipped. I almost missed the goodness of God looking at other people. Asaph says, it looked like the ungodly were prospering and had it going on. But Asaph says in that 17th verse, it wasn't until I came into the sanctuary of God that I understood their end. How in a moment they are utterly consumed and destroyed with terrors. They are brought down. Tell your neighbor, don't be mad with God. Yeah, don't be mad with God. Because God, again, he knows what he's doing. He knows how to judge better than we can judge the situation. He knows when it's time to elevate it. He knows when it's time to open this door and when to close this door. All I got to tell you today is just wait on him. Keep praying. Keep pressing. Get him in his presence and pray to God and God will work it out for your good. Tell your neighbor, don't be mad. He knows what he's doing. And in his appointed time, he will give you what you ask for. I say in his appointed time, not in your time, not when you think that things ought to happen. He will do it at the right time. He always, we say that all the time, he stepped in right on time. Yeah, he knows what time it is. So Hannah prayed. Hannah's 
prayer sincere. Hannah's prayer is simple. Hannah says, God, don't forget about me. Oh, I know that's some folks in here today who can cry that out. God, don't forget about me. Hannah says, God, I, I want a son. Hannah says that if you bless me with a son, I'll give him back to you. I'll give him back to you. Bless me with him, and I'll give him back to you. Hannah prayed so long that Eli, the priest, he gets tired of her praying. He notices her and believes that she is drunk. He scorns her and she quickly explains her situation to him. Yeah. Eli tells Hannah in verse 17, go in peace. Oh, yes. right. And may the God of Israel yeah. grant thy petition yeah. that thou hast asked for. Yeah. The text says that Hannah went her way. Yeah. And then she went back and started eating again because yeah. she was fasting didn't have an appetite yeah. or anything. When you read verses 1 through 8, you'll see. And her attitude was messed up. It was nasty in verses 1 through 8. Yeah. 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 But it changed. Yeah. And she was no longer sad yeah. when she got through praying. Yeah. Oh, Y'all missed that? Yeah. I, I, I said, when she prayed, yeah. when she got in his presence yeah. and prayed, yeah. something happened, something yeah. changed. Her mind, her attitude changed. She decided again, you know, I ain't worried about Panay. Mm -hmm. She don't control my destiny. I'm a grown woman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she had that attitude. She had a swagger about her when she left the temple. That this is me between me and God. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to let somebody else steal my joy. I'm not going to let somebody else mess up my blessing. This is between me and God. Yeah, something happens when you get in the presence of God. Something happens when you talk to him about your situation. Something happens when you surrender it to God. In the midst of our dialogue with our God, we find comfort. We find strength. We find consolation. We are blessed. We have a blessed assurance when we get through talking with our God. When we call the name of Jesus. Oh, I love it. Something happens. Something happens. Something happens. Bishop Paul Morton says something special. Something supernatural. Something happens when they call the name of Jesus. So Hannah went into the temple weeping. And she was angry, but she came out smiling. She came out rejoicing. She came out uh, 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 with, with, with a new attitude. Her pain uh, is gone away. And she now presses her way to get the promise. And that leads me to a third point. Not only did she get in his presence, not only did she pray, but Hannah proved God. Yeah, yeah. I said she proved yeah. God. Yeah. Verse 19 says they got up early the next morning yeah. and went to worship oh, yeah. in the temple. Yeah. Now she was already at church yeah. praying the day before. Yeah. But the next day, yeah, yeah. She didn't get tired right. of going to church. Yeah. Yeah. She didn't let nobody say, oh, it don't take all that. Yeah. She got her family up in the next day. Amen. They went to church. Yeah. They went and offered their gifts yeah. to God. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, prove God. Prove God. Yeah, do your part. Yeah. 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 And prove God. Yeah. Obey his commands. Yeah. Prove God. Yeah. Bless the Lord and the yeah. Lord will bless you. Yeah. Malachi 3.10 says, bring me all the ties into the storehouse yeah. that there may be meat in my house and yeah. prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open up the windows of heaven. Yeah. Pour you out blessings that you won't have room enough to receive. God said, I rebuke the diviner yeah. for your sake yeah. and all nations will call you blessed. Yeah. You won't have to tweet and boast about how great you are. Yeah. They'll know you. Amen. Yeah, Hannah proved yeah. God. Yeah. The text says, and then they went home. Yeah. And Hannah put on that red dress yeah. and some high heels. Yeah. All Elkman and I could say was, my, 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 my. Yeah. I'm sorry, that was Johnny Hill. Yeah. The text says, God remembered them. God granted her yeah. her request. Yeah. Verse 20 in the message Bible says, before the year was out, Hannah conceived. Yeah. Yeah. 
and gave birth to a son. Yeah. And she named him yeah. Samuel. Yeah. Which means I asked yeah. God for him. Yeah. The text goes on to say that she gave him yeah. back to God. Yeah. Just as she promised. Yeah. She's proven God. Yeah. You did what I asked you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to do what I told you I was going to do for you. Yeah. After she weaned him, she took him to Eli the priest and Samuel lived all of his days yeah. in the temple. Yeah. Look at your neighbor and ask him, won't he do it? Yeah. yeah, God will do it for you. Just prove God. Trust God. Take him at his word. And I declare to you that God will show up. He will show out in your life. Finally, Hannah yes. did something else yes. that all of us need to do. Well, we need to praise God. Yeah. 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 We need to praise God. Yeah. We need to praise God. The praise belongs to Him. Yeah. Doesn't belong to anybody else. Doesn't belong to the job that you got. Doesn't belong to the degrees that you have on the wall. Doesn't belong to who you know. Praises belong to Him. Chapter 2 of 1 Samuel and Hannah's prayer of thanksgiving and praise and is considered to be the first magni uh, magnificent of uh, hymn of praise. And I came here today to tell you that no matter how it looks, God is worthy of you. Oh, I praise. Like Hannah, you may have come into this temple wounded and angry with God. But let me tell you, my friend, you don't have to go home the same way that you came in. You can be like Hannah and skip out of here with a, a smile on your face. You can go back into the world with swagger and with an anointing of God and with impregnated uh, endless possibilities to accomplish that which he has called you to do. Are y'all hearing me today? Today we are living in tough times. All around us we see the evidence uh, we, we see violence, we see hatred, we see evil, we see wickedness. But in spite of what we see Amen. in the natural, yes. I believe God is speaking clearly and loudly and provocatively in the spirit realm to the body of Christ, the church. I believe God is calling us yes. and daring us yes. to trust him Amen. to be our God. Yes. Will you trust him? Will you trust him? Will you trust him? Will you allow him to do it for you? Yeah, he's a God who is worth trusting. He's a God who never fails. I feel like preaching if y'all help me. Paul says in Ephesians 3.20, he is a God who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask or think according to the power that worked in us. Oh, I come to ask you again, won't he do it? I believe that Moses and the children of Israel will tell you that he can do it. I believe that David and the armies of God will tell you that he can do it. I believe that Daniel and the three Hebrew boys will tell you that he can do it. I believe that the mothers of the Hebrew race, Sarah, Rebecca, and Rachel, who were by nature barren and sterile, will tell you that in God's appointed time, when he gets ready, he can and he will do it for you. I believe that old man Zachariah and Elizabeth and Mary and Joseph will tell you he can do it. I believe that the centurion and the woman with the issue of blood, the little boy with uh, two fish and five loaves of bread will tell you that he can do it. I believe that there's a great cloud of witnesses who rest of Jesus and who await the sound of the trumpet will tell you that he can do it. Yeah, I want you to know today he can do it. When I was a boy, my brother would walk around the house and she would start singing and praying, praising God in the house. She would sing, I know the Lord. We'll make a way somehow. Yes, he will. Sometimes up sometimes down, almost level to the ground. But I know the Lord will make a way somehow. Look at your neighbor, tell him, won't he do it? Tell him, yes, he will. Yes, he will. He'll do it for you. Matter of fact, he did it for you. One 
did it for you. He did it for me. Yes, I have a story. So it is that three days later, got up with all power in his hand. Power, wonder working power, resurrecting power. He did it for you. And he did it for me. He did it that he can save us from our sin. Listen, I just want you to know today that all of us are pregnant with possibilities and opportunities. Kevin didn't know, but God had already. God had already ordered her steps. God had already planned for her to have a son by the name of Samuel. And God knows everything. He, he's omniscient. He, he's, he knows again. He's already there before he gets there. That's how awesome our God is. And so he knew her circumstance and he knows your circumstance. And it may look like you're barren it may look like you're in a dry place but I want you to know that right now in this very moment he's working on your situation I just want you to remember that he did it for him he's done it for you and he'll do it for me all we gotta do is just keep trusting Keep staying in his presence. Keep praying. Keep proving him and keep praising him. And watch God. Watch him do it. Stand on your feet with me. God, we thank you again for the word. We pray right now, God, that you would bless those who've heard your word today. Whatever their need is, God. Whatever it is that they're crying out to you, God, I pray right now that you would meet them accordingly. Do for them, God, what only you can do, God. Heal, deliver, set free, bless them, God, like only you can bless them, God. God, I pray right now if there's one that is under the sound of my voice who wants to, again, get their lives in the line with you, God wants to be a part of this church God I pray right now that you give them holy boldness God yes, that they would step out God yes. that they would come give their heart to you God yes. give their hands to me God yes. that we might again walk this journey together yes. God I pray right now those who are watching online God those who are watching via social media God I pray right now whatever their need is God if they don't know you God God and they want to come to know you I pray right now that they would Click that give, click that join button, brother God, and that they would again come and give their lives to you, God. God, we thank you right now. Thank you for what you've done. Thank you for what you promised to do. Touch us now, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless every mother, God. Those who desire to be and those who are, God. Those who are stepping in the gap, God, I pray right now that you touch them, God. Help them to see, God, that you have not forgotten about them. That you are faithful. That you'll never leave them alone. Do it for them, God, right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Church, say amen. 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 If you'd like to join Riverview Community Church, we invite you to come down. If you want to make this your home, I invite you to come down. Become a member of this church. This is a good place to be. It's fertile ground. God is blessing us in incredible ways. We are just praying to God again that he would send us the workers and laborers in the vineyard. It's plenteous. There are plenty. There's plenty of work for us to do. And so we invite you now to come. If you want to make this your home, come now. If you're watching these social media, again, put it in the chat. 
in the message box and we will contact you today. Or you can go to our website, www.rccTheView. Hit the join button and we will contact you. Thank you so much again for watching us today, joining in with us today. Remember, we walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. Today, again, we want to love on our mothers.